Hey guys, today I'm super excited because this is my first video in my fall series. I am doing a tutorial, obvious, on this fall look I am wearing right now. I absolutely love this look. It's my go-to look all the time in the fall. I wear it basically every other day. And I am super excited to share it with you guys. I worked super hard on this video and I'm super excited to share it with you guys. And I think I'm just going to stop talking right now so you guys can start watching the video for yourselves. Okay, for the eye makeup, I'll be taking CoverGirl Queen Collection. It looks like this. I got this so many years ago, and I'm pretty sure it's been discontinued. But I'm going to be using this maroonish, brownish color right here. I'm going to be taking my Revlon blah, 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 blending brush, looks like this. And you're just going to dab it in the maroon color, and then we're going to work into our crease. And make sure you try to keep it low, because we don't want to bring it up high too quick. And it's a super light color, it takes a lot to really build it up, so just a dab to dot and blending it out is going to be our best friend. Okay, 
now that we have most of the eyeshadow off the brush, we can start to work up a little bit more just so it's not such a harsh line. And then now we're gonna go in with the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. It looks like this. And we're gonna be taking the color Chocolate Martini right here, which is a super chocolate brown with a little bit of shimmer in it. We're just gonna put a little bit on that and just kind of make a little V shape and blend it in at the end. And then we're going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Palette. I'm pretty sure we have all seen this before. Mine has taken a beating completely. And we'll be taking this black color. Its name is Creep. And you just want to put a tiny little bit on your brush because we don't want to go overboard with the black too quick because it could just mess up the whole look. And yet again, we're going to make a little V shape at the end. We're just going to start blending it in. And this color, you want to keep it low the whole time. You don't want to bring it up super high because we want the maroon to be showing on the end. Now we're going to go back in with the maroon color from the CoverGirl palette. And we're just going to put a little bit over and just blend it out just a little bit. As you see, I'm doing this super lightly. I'm not blending this like crazy. Alright, and then I'll be going in with my e.l.f. blending brush. And I'm going to be taking the color Honey Pot from the Too Faced palette. And we're just going to dab this on the inner corner. Alright, and then going with the Naked palette. We're we'll going to be going in with half baked, as you can see, a completely hip hand on this. And we're just going to go around and try to get some out. And then we're just going to put that on top of Honey Pot. Alright, and then we're going to go back to our Revlon blending brush. And we're going to take the black color out of the naked palette again. And we're just going to put that on our ends. Right, and then we're going to go back in with that maroon color. And we're just going to blend that over the top in our crease. Alright, and then we're just going to take the Honey Pot color from the Too Faced palette. We're just going to add that super quick right here. Alright, and then we're going to be taking the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and we're going to be taking the color Virgin from our Naked palette. And we're just going to put this on the inner corner. That's basically it for just the eyeshadow. Okay, so now we're going in with the Kat Von D Tattoo uh, Liquid Eyeliner, and it just looks like this. And we're going to go through and do a super dramatic wing eyeliner.
so once we're done with our eyeliner, we're going to go through with the Revlon Color Stay Pencil Liner. And we're just going to put this on our tight line to give the illusion of four lashes. And once we're done with that, we're going to go through with a MAC Pencil Liner in the color M12. And it's a super reddish brownish color. We're going to put this down on our waterline and a little bit lower than our waterline. Then we're going to go back with our e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and we're going to be taking the cream color out of our makeup palette. I'm just going to lightly dab it onto there and then we're going to go right over that. And just put it very lightly and just kind of blend and smoke it out. And then we're we'll taking the maroon color once again from our CoverGirl palette. Just gonna dab it on there and just gotta pat it over that. Alright, and once we're done with our all of our eyeliner and the eyeshadow, we're gonna go through with our eyelash primer. And this is the L'Oreal Paris Double Extended Beauty Tubes Mascara. And we're going to be using the white end. I'm just going to go through and prime our eyelashes. And you want to make sure you go under your eyelashes and twirl it outwards. Because that's going to help give it tons of volume and fullness. So once we're done priming our eyelashes, you're going to want to sit there for about three minutes and just wait for the primer to dry. Okay, so once that's dried, I'll be going in with Maybelline the Falsies Big Eyes Double Ended Mascara. I'm actually going to go with the one that says the lower lashes, and I'm going to use that on the top lashes. Just because it separates them a lot better. And you want to make sure you're curling under behind your eyelashes. I can't express it enough. This is what's really going to make your lashes look full. And I kind of just sit here forever and apply mascara because it's probably my favorite thing ever. And then I'll be going through with a different type of mascara. I'll be using the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Mascara. Alright, and then I'll be using the double ended mascara I just used previously, and I'll be using the lower side again. And this time I'm actually going to put on my lower lashes. Alright, and now it's going to be time for the lips, and I'll be taking 
a NARS pencil liner in the shade Corella, and I'm just gonna go through and line and then fill in my lips. It doesn't have to be perfect because this isn't the shade we're using for the total look. This is just to give a nice base color. After that, I'll be going in with the L'Oreal Paris Exclusive by Zoe in the shade Zoe's Red. And it's a super vampy brownish red color. It's absolutely gorgeous and I love this color. I'm just going to go through and apply it like normal lipstick. And that basically completes the entire fall look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a blast filming this for you guys. And it's definitely my go-to look in the fall. It's perfect. I absolutely love it. And you don't have to use the red lip if you want to make it more wearable. Because I feel like I use pretty wearable colors. So if you guys want to recreate the look, make sure you tweet me or send me a picture of you guys recreating it. Because I would love to see it. And I will definitely have more tutorials coming your guys' way really soon. Peace out, guys.